Hello everybody, as you probably know, it's me, the Red Mage Crow, and I'm doing the intro really fast because there's going to be a lot of cutscenes after this, as you can tell right now! <clears throat> Jeez. So, we just basically uh, completed the last stage, and now we're into, like, cutscenes territory. Oh boy, this is going to be very interesting. Look at him. Look at it. Look at these scenery. Like, seriously. Beautiful in its own right. Oh, we're taking a shower. They're not going to show me anything, right? Oh, look. A dragon on his back. Ryu. It was getting very precariously close to his butt. <laughs> Potpourri? Why is that like... Why is Tokyo Potpourri like the only English here? What the hey? Ooh, bathrobe! Lovely. I assume you have not eaten. You're welcome to join me if you'd like. Oh, look at that. That is some high-class stuff. Sorry, but I don't have much of an appetite. Not big on taking food from strangers. You have my assurance that I am no threat to you, Kiryu-san. Please make yourself at home. Ooh. Wonder what this guy is relatively all about. Cause like, he seems like a... Where are my clothes? <laughs> they were in need of cleaning, so I took the liberty. I will have them back to you momentarily. Tachibana-san. Tachibana-san, was it? Yeah. That's correct. Please, go and I'm a civilian. I operate the real estate business in Kamurocho. Because no one Kudon relatively, like, does anything for free, you know? And what does a real estate guy want with me? Yeah, I wonder. Ryori, Are you certain you won't eat? eat? His business attire reminds me of the Turks. God dang it. Like... <clears throat> Oh, what's up with this other arm? Is it prosthetic? My right hand is prosthetic. Look at that. Please excuse my table manners. I lost it years ago. Now it aches in the cold months. A curious thing. I feel it throbbing down to the fingertips, even though it's gone. Painkillers have no effect. I'm simply living with the pain. In time, Grim has became tiresome, so I stopped. Oh my god, that reminds me of another game we played! I don't recall asking. Kiryu-san, are you familiar with the term pseudanthium? Meaning fake. Pseudanthium. A botany term referring to a cluster of many flowers gathered to form a single large flower. You are intimately acquainted with one such flower, as it happens. Well, yeah, what are you talking about? The sunflower. Each large bloom is in fact a collection of tiny flowers. Each petal is an entity. A fitting name for a place where children gather. Was it Kazuma-san who named your orphanage sunflower? Well, that's cute. Who are you? You and Nikishiyama grew up as brothers at the Sunflower Orphanage. A young woman named Sawamura, Yumi-chan as well. You and Nikishiyama regarded Kazuma-san as father in time following his footsteps to join the Yakuza. So this guy must be like, you know... Uh, and now you find yourself praying for murder with Kazuma-san facing risk of expulsion as a result. Must be like, that's enough. You proved your point. It's obvious you've got quite the network to dig all that up. Either that or he's looking for Kazuma-san. But I don't get his why. What are you after? There's only one thing any real estate broker in this town is after. I want the empty lot. Oh, okay. That place again. I would like for you to join me, Kiryu-san. And why? Because I know Kazuma-san. That's the only reason. If the Dojima family lieutenants acquired the empty lot, Kazuma-san's expulsion is a certain thing. That is true. But if I can beat them to it, I can protect Kazuma-san. And then there is also the matter of proving your innocence. Okay? 
なるほど。<笑> I mean, I was a picky eater until, like, very recently, like, I think last year. I'm trying my best to relatively eat everything I can now, but even then, like, it's, uh, it's a little difficult sometimes. I should let me, Shiki, know I'm not dead yet. He's probably still at the Cosmo family office. Ah, so need to go to the family office. Alright, there's, there's a safe station over here somewhere. There it is. Don't know why I don't just call him. Or page him, or... Then again... Probably calling him on the, uh... On, like, the Yakuza phone is probably not a good idea. I'm also a little bit upset, right? I'm recording this the exact same day that the third episode is go has gone up. So, basically... Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Today is Sunday. And I only relatively upload... Uh, four episodes... A week and I already had done like five this week you got pocket tissue thank you I really wonder what that is is that like telling me that there's like an event somewhere nearby I kind of want to get into more fights the more fights I get into the more money I get uh anyways it wasn't supposed to go up it was supposed to go up on Monday which is tomorrow for me which would be the seventh. So, you know, jazz happens. I didn't set it up properly. But now I have to find a fourth episode, uh, a fourth video, my bad, uh, for next week. And, ooh, he is looking down at me, and he does not look particular. I mean, technically, he doesn't particularly look happy at any point in time. Kashiwagi. Oh, Kashiwagi. Kill! Kill! <laughs> You're okay. I can't believe you made it out of there alive. Dude, you should have seen all the fighting I had to do. Yeah. I'm not dead yet, anyway. But it's official now. I'm out of the Dojima family. I'm a civilian. God dang it. Yeah. So Kazuma-san is clear, right? Not yet. Family intends to hold him accountable until I can prove I was set up. I mean, technically, they said that you didn't have, like, a choice in the matter. What? Why? You're out of the organization now. I know. Still, this is a step forward. Now that I'm not Yakuza, I'm free to take action. They'll pay Kuze a visit and make him hand over the kills. Oh, that's an aisle? But there's, like, an eye there. What the? F that must have been, like, a typo. Yeah, yeah. Well, that makes sense. Oh, well, first we should go fill Kashiwagi's son in. Come on. No. I've been expelled from the Tojo clan. I can't be in the Kazama family office. You go tell him for me. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. It's fine. Come inside. This is about me taking the accountability, Nishiki. Let me do this right. Accountability for what though? You didn't do anything. Fine. You're heading back to your apartment. Then. I'll meet you there in a bit. You can fill me in on everything. Alright. Okay, see you later.
head home for tonight. From here, it's fastest if I walk through the hotel district. Woo! Man, come on, where are all the people I can fight? I wanna like... Why is that guy so huge? I mean, I guess this is why. Hey, you. Freaking huge. <laughs> there a problem? Yeah. You think you can just walk by me without a word? Do I know you? This isn't your turn. Why should I have to tell you anything? I'm not here to chat. If you don't want to get hurt, you'll leave all the cash you got and get lost. <laughs> so this is a shakedown. You should pick your targets better. I don't have a single yen for chumps like you. Then I guess we have to do this the hard way. Hope you're insured. Oh, grappling style! Oh my god, he does so much damage. Oh my lord, he does so much damage. I don't have any healies. Ouchie! <laughs> Not half bad. Well, if you're off the hook this time. What? <laughs> if I'm having trouble with somebody like you, I need to change my training regimen. Time to bump up the intensity. Which is gonna be expensive. But want to save up that kind of money. I got some shaking down to do. Dang it. Get back here! Hey, you okay, man? Yeah. We just had the misfortune of meeting Hideo Egashira. Mr. Shakedown, they call him. Mr. Shakedown? Yeah. He'll go after anybody that crosses his path. And then he takes everything they got. You seem like you can hold your own in a fight. That guy's on a whole different level. If he sets his sights on you, you run for him. He's definitely more than your average tough guy could handle. Still... I wish somebody could come along and beat all that stolen money out of him, though. What? Did he get you, too? Dang right he did! Took my whole holiday bonus. I knew I should have made a beeline to the bank with it. You be careful, too. Next time you're sitting on a stack of cash. Oh, remember has that Egashira is not the only Mr. Shakedown. And that there aren't just the Komodo... Oh, God. He's got, like, a hiccup or something there. Komodo Cho thing. Stay sharp if you ever go out of town. Mr. Shakedown, huh? He was insanely tough. I probably haven't seen the last of him. Better keep my eyes to him. If you lose the Mr. Shakedown in battle, he'll take all the money you have. If you spot him in the streets, the safest tactic is to run away before he can rope you into fighting. If you can beat Mr. Shakedown, you'll reclaim all the money he's stolen from you. The amount he's carrying varies at different times. If you can take him down when he's especially flush with cash, you can make back more than what you lost. Ooh. I should just head home for tonight. I mean, if anything, I don't think that it'll be relatively difficult to see him. I mean, not unless he's hiding in, like, an alleyway. He got pocket tissues. I like pocket tissues. I don't know what they'll, they'll be used for. But, good to have them, I guess. I'm, and, like, the thing is that that didn't feel like it was, hey, look, Sega stores. That's cool. I know Sega that, I know Sega basically made this game and whatnot. But did they really have to make the beginning so goddamn scary? I mean, what, when I turn it on and I'm not expecting it, it just scares the absolute hell out of me. No if and or buts about it. I really want to know what that do. If you guys know, I, I mean, it's probably going to tell me, uh, you know, a little bit down the line. 
So even if you tell me now, I'm gonna find out later, I would assume. Right? Well, if you do know, just go ahead, leave a comment down below, and we'll go from there. Also, I'm only gonna be doing 45 minutes worth of recording, so, you know, I can travel to Kiryu's apartment. Uh, you, you, you are Kiryu! So I'm just gonna do one recording video for the day, because I found out that I accidentally did one too much, you know, with all the cutscenes that were happening. Of course, it was very difficult. So this is gonna be relatively just one episode, and I'm gonna try to see if I can record something else. Uh, you know, like a one-off or something. Feels like I haven't been home in forever. Way too much has happened these last couple days. I hope I'm not behind on the rent. What is it? <laughs> it's bugging me. It's gonna bug me. I hear it and I'm like, oh, where, where? But nothing ever happens. All right. It's me, Kiryu. I'm coming in. Nikishiyama. All right. All I got is beer. Please, you think I'd expect any different? Nishiki. Nishiki. Kashiwagi-san say anything else? Nope. Not a word. I see. But he started chowing down on his cold noodles like a man. It's just after seeing you turn up alive. Until then, he'd just been sitting there all intense, not saying a thing. That's so him. <laughs> Right? That's some story. And Kuze didn't think he'd be losing a pinky when he woke up this morning. <laughs> it was the show you never know what the future holds. Yeah, a lot more is about to go down. If any of the three lieutenants get their hands on that empty lot, Kazuma sounds out of the family. I like how freaking... I need to clear my name too. Uh, Kazuma was like really long. So please get me in their sights. I'm done. And it was like the shortest freaking like you know thing. Uh, about that, Kiryu. The president of Tokyo Credit turned up dead a few hours ago. Oh no. Nani. News. It's on the news. He was shot in his office. He sent you into empty lot on Kuze's orders, right? Kuze must have wanted to keep that fact quiet. Kuze. Kuze. Is it really so easy for him to just murder someone? Right? It's his neck on the line. That son of a gun will do anything. I think beating down his door and hoping he'll talk is probably a good way to wind up dead. There's gotta be a better way. Such as? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. If there was an easy fix, we wouldn't be here racking our brains. Nishiki. Nishiki. You ever heard of Tachiban uh, Real Estate? Huh? Hmm? Tachibana Real Estate? This guy, Tachibana, came and found me after I left Dojima HQ. He wanted me to help him get the empty lot. Said he could help prove my innocence, too. Like, see, all of that just seemed kind of like to flush. Very well. Well, hold up, Kiryu. I do know those guys. What now? They're after the empty lot, too? What's their story? For starters, they're not the sort of business that got an office. I've only heard bits here and there, but they're like property acquisition specialists homing in on Kumuro Cho. They take over real estate. Uh, yeah. Kumuro Cho's packed tight. End to end with little bars and night spots, right? Most of them are run by various Tojo clan families, too. Okay. But somehow, Tachibana's real estate came along and started poking holes in that iron wall. Oh. How do you mean exactly? Any business they set their sights on is shuttered in days. The tenants cleared out. Doesn't matter how successful the place was, 
They're gone. Bribes, threats, harassment. They're more Yakuza than the Yakuza. Whatever it takes to crush the business and scoop up the vacancy property. They'll even go toe to toe with Tojo Clan Muscle, protecting a place worth without batting an eye. Ooh, they sound like trouble. Bill say right now is an insane cash war. That means plenty of shady businesses get attracted to the action. The Tachibana is playing on another level. Even Tojo HQ is trying to shut them down. Seriously? Because you how nasty they are. Although if you had them on your side, things suddenly get interesting. How so? Yeah, they can be trusted. I still can't figure out what Tachibana hopes to gain from winning me over. Alright, tomorrow you and me can dig around for more info on Tachibana. It's worth investigating. Well, probably is, but probably not. No, I'll look into it alone. Huh? You and I work together, and we'll draw every eye in the Dojima family. I need you to keep your distance. You. It's fine. I was prepared to do this myself when I decided to leave the family. Huh. I I, I can very much sympathize with uh, Kiryu, honestly. Maybe Nishiki's right, and I should accept Tachibana's offer. But I needed to go... I need more to go on before I can trust him. I should hit the town and see what I can find out about. For, for like, starters, right? Like, I'm very insistent on doing things, you know, by myself. Uh, I mean, you know, I've already had so many people help me out and whatnot throughout my life. I don't want to, like, you know, bug them and have them, like... You know, help me out any more than they relatively, you know, need to. And, you know, who knows? Maybe that is, like, a foolish way about thinking about it. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't relatively know. You know, if I relatively, uh, knew just about everything that I possibly could, I wonder if those guys want to fight. They look like, kind of like goons. Oh! Hey, you guys are a part of, uh, Dojima. At least I'm going to assume they are. No, you don't. Don't start powering up like Goku. That's a no-no. Oh, you get spared. I get your money. Well, as I was saying, I'm just trying to live my best life. And that best life ends me in a cutscene. Wow. You're lying. Hmm? You're hiding something from me, aren't you? Um, calm down, Tachan. I'm not hiding anything. I'm sorry, Mina-chan. I saw it inside your purse. It was full of money. That's... There had to be, like, 200,000 yen in there. Mina-chan, your family isn't that rich. What's going on? How dare you poke around in my purse? Ta-chan, you're a jerk. You don't go looking into other people's stuff. If you're su uh, supposing that these two are in a relationship, a relationship is built on trust. You don't look at each other's phones. You don't relatively look into each other's purse unless you are 100% sure. Like, if anything, seeing that money, you know, you would relatively suspect something. So. But did he really have any reason to look in there? I don't know. Let's play the cutscene. I hate you. Mina Chai. <sighs> oh. Respect between the high school couple. That was pretty raw. Oi. Hey. Why are we getting involved in this? Eh? What? Who are you? Yeah. Nobody's special. I overheard your spat. I didn't like what I was hearing. Uh, yeah. You were really going at it there, huh? 
I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable. That girl, Nina, is my girlfriend. But she's been acting strange lately. Strange how? All of a sudden, she started turning me down a lot. I almost never go out on dates now. Wow. Whoa, what the frick was that? Oh, you guys are young. Must be a lot on her mind. Sure, if that was all, I could understand. She's also been really throwing a lot of money around lately. On the rare occasion that we do go on a date, she always wants to go by lingerie. I think that's how it's... I think that's how it's said, lingerie? By the bag full. Hmm. I got suspicious and went through her purse. Found at least 20... 10,000 yen notes in there. Mm. 200,000. Unless your Mina is from a very wealthy family. That does sound fishy. I mean, he kind of has, like... That, that, that right there does sound very suspicious. <sighs> I worry that Mina-chan is selling herself. And that would not be good. Selling herself? Whoa, whoa. Isn't she still in high school? Yeah, but... That would explain why she's always loaded up and buying new lingerie. Hmm. Mm. That's hard to say. I know. Would you mind checking up on Mina for me? Just to find out what she's up Nani. to. Nani? Why me? Well, if I had to see Mina selling herself, it would scar me for life. And finding it out wouldn't do you any worse? I can understand that, but... Please, I'll give you some kind of reward. Please, find out what Mina-chan is doing. Okay, I'll do it. Alright, fine. I'll go check up on her. Uh. You will? Yeah, I kind of want to know why your girl would be carrying around that kind of cash myself. Oh man, I hope she's not selling herself to a sleazy geezer. Mina-chan hangs around Senryo Avenue a lot. Please find out what she's up to. Senryo- Did I just grow in size? Did I see that right? Did I grow an inch? Am I going through puberty? <laughs> what the frick is going on? Goodness gracious. Um, Where is Senryo? This is the shopping district. So I have no real place of being in here. Why is that building pink, actually? What? Why did I just see, like, a bunch of, like, money there? That was weird. Oh! No, 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 no. Nope. 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 Remember how I said that he's not that, like, difficult to find unless he would most likely be, like, you know, be hiding in, like, a corner? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> that was what I was talking about. Look, that's him, like, right over there. I ain't going this way. That's nuts. Goodness gravy. If I... If I do I have, like, a map or something? Is that actually... Like, what's going on the Morgan? Is there... Uh... Uh... Oh my god, what is all of this? <laughs> oh my lord, um, notebook. Characters. Oh my lord. Um, what is, what is this area? Oh, hey, it's you! Oh. Kamoji! Hey, Kiryu-san. Hmm? Well, if it isn't Kamoji. Things again for before. I didn't do nothing. This is where you do your thing, huh? A punch out artist, was it? Yep, that's right. That's me. That's my job. I couldn't make much sense of Bosch's explanation. What is it you do exactly? Oh, rules is simple. You knock me down or knock me out, and the prize money's yours. Price is doubled the stakes. Customers put up 10,000, and if they win, I give them 20. Half of that's the upfront fee, so we only need to fork over the other half. 
Okay, let's see. Pick emoji and eat an amount equal to the entry fee in advance. The time limit is 60 seconds. If you get knocked down or knocked out, you lose. If you hit the challenger, you also lose. Wait, what? Mm. So, I'm not supposed to, like, uh, get hit? Frustrated drunks, do your best bet. Come at you in a nice straight line. Easy to dodge. Punches are garbage, too. I advertise to everyone I see. So most challengers are guys looking to blow off steam by hitting someone. And not tough guys looking to win some cash, huh? Oh, hey. If he was interested, why don't you try it out? We could bill, bill you as my apprentice. Why would I want to be your apprentice? The truth is, no one ever took me down before. Birds getting around, so I get more gawkers and less challengers. With my apprentice, I reckon that'd change. They'd want to see if they could take you on. Or get a ton of challengers again. Makes sense. I don't take too kindly to being made anyone's apprentice or pupil. Because I told Boschus the same. Well, if I has any pointers to give you, I'll be sure to let you know. I make a pretty good teacher. Strange guy, but this Komoji seems like the real deal. I could learn more about that fighting style. Sure, why not? Tell me how this goes. Alrighty, check out this price list. Customers get to choose one of the courses. Wow. Some of these are pretty pricey. Mm. Plenty of people rolling in cash around here. I figured I might get lucky. One guy picked the ten, the million yen course once. Mm. All well if you win. But you have to pay out if you lose, right? That's a pretty big gamble. Mm. Yep, that's why I turned down the million yen guy. He looked a bit too tough to risk it. Why even have those courses? It attracts challengers. No way a homeless guy the likes of me couldn't pay out, right? Anyways, if you don't seem keen to earn that way, Bosch's plan sounds best. Wait, I think I read that wrong. Anyways, you don't seem keen to earn that way, so Bosch's plan sounds best. Bosch's had a plan? What was it? We start by looking for a 10 yen mark, and if that works out, we shoot for 100,000 yen. Dodge our way through another bout, and we set our sights on a quarter million. He's dreaming if he thinks that'll work. I suppose 10 million and 100 million yen would be next. No way anyone will take you off on, that, on, on a bet that high. Never know, though, right? Don't knock it till you try it. So who pays out the prize money? You, of course, Kiryu-san. Gots to make sure you use covered if you ever lose. If everything goes smooth, the money will come flying in. Bye. Alrighty, let's start the 10,000 yen course. Just give me a shout when you're ready with the money. Don't slack off of your training, neither. Oh. That sounds kind of, uh... Kind of, uh, risky. Um, do I have the money though? I have more than enough money. I say why not? First up to the 10,000 course. Mm -hmm. You ready with the money uh, and all? Yeah. Ah, kiryu son. So you got the money. And you's in tip top shape, ready to drum up some business? Sure, why not? I feel like I won't be able to do any of the like higher level stuff. Um, I'll hang on to that 10,000 yen. Uh, until I relatively learn more ways to, like, dodge. Listen up, everybody. It's punch-out artist time. Today's My Apprentice Giri will be taking on all comers. It's 10,000 a shot. You knock him down even once in 60 seconds, you double your money. Yeah, give me a shot at this. Thought you'd never ask. First, the entry fee. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy pretending you're that guy at work I can't stand. I'll get to blow off steam and make a buck. Okay. Hi. Okay, good luck. Take a look at the rules. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got this, right, Kiryu san? Alrighty, let's fight. Made for 60 seconds. Come on, look at these moves.
Where are you aiming at? Why is this ring so small? Weevil, 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 weevil. Nope, not today. I got dodges for day. Oh god, he knocked me down! I was messing around, oh no. <laughs> I got my money's worth. See ya. I lost that. You got to put in a little more effort, cutie son. You, sh you ought to be dodging guys like that no sweat. Oh, hold R1? Let's, let's just try that again. I'll make the video a little bit longer to make up for this. Unskippable. Yeah, and it's the same guy. Okay. Wonder if there's gonna be like a little bit of like randomness to it. Like, what's the matter? Woo! Okay. The dodging invincibility frames actually saved me there. Holy jeez. All right, what's the matter? Oh, look at you. Look at you go. You can't hit me. Okay, I deserve that, I guess. Alright, like that, we finally get a win under our belt. God dang, that took a little bit longer than it needed to. Yeah, I can't land a blow. You're pretty good at dodging. Still, the exercise did me good. Thanks. Hi. Good fight. Too bad luck wasn't on your side. Come on back and try again. Oh boy. Like, if I relatively do decide to kind of, like, do the in-betweens and kind of, like, work some stuff, uh, you know, this is, like, one way that I can relatively go about it. I ain't work here, you son. You was as slippery as an eel. The challenger seemed satisfied, uh, too. Yeah, it turned out all right. That wouldn't is a pretty thankless job in that case, though. One thing you can try is evading the last possible moment. Pulling that off's a great feeling. Mm. Dodging at the last minute, huh? You won't swallow us for spirit. Press X in time with enemies attack to build up heat gauge. That's good advice, Komoji. What to appreciate. Heh. <laughs> Let's do this again sometime. All about winnings. We split the 10,000 yen entry fee and I'll give back your stake. That's 15,000 yen for you. Mm. We split the winnings. Considering... Consider it overhead a lesson fee. Pretty fair if you ask me. Next up is 100,000. I'll be waiting. Oh, so this is how we learn all the moves. So we can relatively go here, learn all the moves, and go from there. That's nice. However, I don't relatively want to do that today. I more or less want to basically... Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, to be perfectly honest. Thinking about it. They just have me kind of like running around until something happens, I guess. Maybe. I'm going to see what this uh, pink house is. A uh, videos booth at Grandahara. You can watch videos of very cast of gorgeous girls. As you meet these women's out in the city under certain conditions, new video content will become available. Search every corner of town and find your dream girl. Uh huh. Uh, a moment, please. Mm hmm. What is it? Can I ask you a few questions? Oh no. Stop and search, huh? What's your name? And what are you doing for a living? Fine. Name's Kiryu. I'm in a hurry here. Well, we've had some trouble around these parts lately. Just to be sure, would you mind if I checked your belongings? What have my things got to do with trouble around here? Relax. It's just a precaution. Can you show me what you're carrying? Ugh, this could take forever. Might as well show them what I got and get it over with. Okay, you win. I'll show you that. What should I hand over? All I got is pocket tissue. How about this? Hmm. 
It's about as safe as it gets. It doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. Here, take this back. Uh. I've got nothing to hide. I see. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Give me a break. Hops like you always abusing your power. Never stop to think about how much of an inconvenience this is to your regular yeah. citizens. Oh, well, that may be for other police officers. Not for me though. I'm only doing this because I'm all because I'm it's all I'm good for. Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, never mind about me. I'm the one asking the questions here. It doesn't make sense. I'm sure you had something big on you. You got a nose for those things. <laughs> well, I guess your nose spelled you this time. I'm not so sure. My sixth, sen my sixth sense is telling me that I'll find something huge if I dig deep enough. I don't know what to say. I'm a pro at stopping searches. Until I'm sure you're not a threat, I'm going to keep questioning you. Okay? Not okay. Oh, come on, kitty san Be a good sport. It won't take long. I just want to be sure. I give up. Fine, have it your way. Just keep it short. Alright, thank you. My name is Officer Kikuchi. I'll see you around then. Friendship? I can make friends? Friendship with Officer Stop and Search Kikuchi. You got to know Officer Stop and uh, interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of this gauge at any time. Build your friendship and see what happens. Dude, this is like freaking amazing. I like this game. There's just so much goddamn crud that like is going to do. Hey, hey, fight me! Fight me, fools! Come on! Here comes the man in black. They're gonna get freaking beat. I'm ready to grab people. Okay, maybe not that ready. Come here, you. Be face down. What's the matter? <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna throw it at him. <laughs> He's not human. <laughs> oh, that was great. I love it. Mm. I'm bummed that cafe blind closed all of a sudden. Them been being open all night was a huge deal. You're telling anything about it? I think the guy running the place just mm. skipped town. Nah, they just moved shop. They're across from Machibol's behind the theater square. That's a new sign up. Oh, really? Oh, wait, why bother moving it if it's only a few blocks away? They got chased off of those guys, Tachibana Real Estate. I hear they didn't even leave the guy much choice. And with all the other tenants in that building, a lot of them either moved shop or just shuttered for good. Mm. Oh, seriously? Well, that's a relief. I guess I'll have to hit up behind Theater Square next time. Okay, so... I do this. Now, where is Theater Square? That's the shopping district. That's the empty lot. Um, Theater, theater, theater. Where is Theater... It's the championship district, hotels, Sekuku, children's park. Uh, oh, this must be the theater district. Um, mock bowl. I guess that's where I'm going. Which I go this way, and I'll be there in no time. Got it. Okay. It just kind of also feels like I'm not really running that fast, you know? I wonder if I talk to him, I'll also figure out, uh, you know. Uh, Senrio Avenue. Okay, I'll tell you what. We go to Senrio Avenue. We see okay. what Okay, I wonder... Yeah, there she is, like, right there. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Is that... Isn't that Mina? Her boyfriend wants to know how she's make, making so much cash. Oi. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. Are you a customer? Oh, no. Nani? Nani? A customer? Mm. Don't tell me this girl's really selling herself. That wouldn't be good. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess not. Do you want something? 
No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'll try to keep the conversation going to see what I can figure out what she's doing. I don't like that they're giving me options here. <laughs> I could say that I'm lost and I need direction, but what does that relatively, what does that do for me? <laughs> God, that's gonna wiggle its way into everything, isn't it? I'm gonna say this is all new to me. Sorry, this is all new to me. I don't know where to begin. Can you tell me how this works? Oh, so you're a first time customer. That's why you were uh, so tentative. Uh, sorry. First times can be awkward and embarrassing. God dang it, this isn't making it any better. There, I think I managed to get the ball rolling. The girl's a little less wary too. So, uh, what would you like? Hmm? What do you mean? Um, well, top or bottom? Which do you want? Nani? Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Is this girl down to your is not going freaking crazy? Somebody send me some help! Oh no! It sounds like she's giving customers the option of being on the top or bottom. But I have to keep up the charade to figure out if she's really selling her body. Oh my god! Um, top or bottom, which do you prefer? I mean, I don't look like a bottom, I really don't. Uh, the top. Top. Uh, okay, I don't know why you're talking about your bra. Huh? Your bra? Pardon? You said you wanted the top, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did. But why your underwear? I don't get it. I'm sorry if you misunderstood, but I'm... a Berucera girl. Berucera? That's not a word I know. It's short for Baruma and Serafuku. You know, bloomers and sailor suits. Peru Sarah girls sell gym clothes, school uniforms, and a lot of other stuff they've worn before. In my case, though, I just sell my underwear. You sell your used underwear? Who would buy that and why? Why? I guess men use them to do curvy things. What else would it do? I don't really want to think about it. Okay, I get it. You're doing business with men to get excited over your second-hand skeevies. I don't like that word. That word sounds really weird. Don't judge. You're the one here trying to buy it. No, actually. I'm not gonna buy my underwear. Then go away. I don't want to stand here talking to a pervert. Nutty. Nutty. Hey. Hmm. Great, she totally shut down now. I'm the adult here. I better set her straight. You shouldn't just ignore someone. Hey, you shouldn't ignore someone who's talking to you. I'm trying to tell you something. Pretending you don't hear me is rude. Ignoring someone hurts their feelings. Can't you put yourself in their situation? I have nothing to say to a uh, pervert. Nani. Whoa, I need to calm down. Can't let a high school girl get under my skin. Besides, telling someone not to ignore you when they already are is a waste of time. There's... I don't want... <laughs> no. What's wrong with being a pervert? God damn it. Huh? Sure, a guy who gets excited over used underwear might be a pervert. So what? Have they ever caused you any trouble? People all have their kinks. God dang it, why am I reading this? Who are you to shame another person for what yeah. they enjoy? Nobody has that, right? You can't judge someone just because they don't conform to society's standards of sexual normalcy. <laughs> oh no! Whoa, I really lost it there. I think she's repulsed. Her stuff said her st <laughs> Really? Would you admit to other people that you're selling underwear? 
Can you be proud of that? Huh? Can you tell your parents, siblings, friends, or your boyfriend that people purchase your panties? God dang it, why am I reading this? I... Tachan, right? Your boyfriend is worried about you. Huh? How do you know about Tachan? Actually, he put me up to this. He thought maybe you were selling your body. He wanted me to find out for sure. Tachan thought I would do that? I would never sell myself. Right. You're not selling your body. What you're doing is... What was that word again? Urusa. Whether you're marketing your underwear or your body, I think they're still both about selling your sex. Or can you proudly tell your boyfriend you do Brucera? I... I don't... Hmm. I don't... I don't want to do this either. Um, listen. I'm sorry for getting all emotional on you. Oh, girl, I'm so sorry, too! Yeah. No, it's alright. I might have been too harsh. I didn't give you the chance to explain. Honestly, I never wanted to do this Bruce Heather thing. Was it for money? Some of us are in it for that, but not me. I mean, it's nice having money, but it doesn't make me happy at all to buy things with money I got by selling my own panties. I guess not. I'm just so afraid of Sachiko. Mm -hmm. Sachiko? She runs things for all the Buru Sarah girls in the area. Nachiko figures out where we should be standing on the street. She also takes care of things if there's any trouble with a customer. In return, we all have to submit a part of our earnings to Sachiko once a month. So there's a girl overseeing the operation. Can't you tell Sachiko you want to quit? That's impossible. As long as she's around, I can't quit doing this Buru Sarah thing. The high school girls around here are all Sachiko's friends. I tried to stand up to her or quit, they'd all bully me. So you can't quit, huh? It's all sounding awfully familiar. I... I don't want to sell my underwear anymore. Mm. This is getting pretty complex. Her boyfriend won't be able to solve this on his own. Mina, you know where I can find this Sachiko? I do, but... Why would you want to know? I don't want to have to go back to your boyfriend and tell him that you were peddling your panties. I don't think anyone would. So I thought maybe I could persuade Sha Sachiko to quit running the sketchy Buru Sarah thing. What? Really? you do that? It'd be wonderful if that worked. I'm not sure Sachiko would be persuaded so easily. It's worth a try. We're gonna find Sachiko. I think she's doing her Buru Sarah shift near the hotel di district. Long hair girl wearing Tsuku Arazaki Academy uniform. Near hotel district. Got it. I don't know Sakurazaki's Academy uniform though. Oh, I guess not. Uh, white collar and blue scarf. Sometimes wears a cardigan, but I'm not sure if she's wearing it today. Long-haired girl, girl, school uniform with a white collar and blue scarf. She might be wearing a cardigan. Yes, I was going crazy because I couldn't talk to anybody about this Buru Sarah thing. Please help me. Aww. Are those guys making trouble for someone? Hey, please help me. What are you looking at? You want some of this too? I'll intervene. Pulling the innocent is lower than low. Lay off. Ha! Huh. You think that scares me? I'll teach you to mind your own darn business. <laughs> what about you, huh? Come here. I'm gonna throw you into the god dang bar. Jesus. What, you afraid? Come here. You're getting punched! Sorry. Won't do it again. Thank you so much. Please take this. You got a slightly battered toughness. He's not human. Okay. Don't know exactly whether or not I have enough time after that to go to uh, where I wanted to go. So we're going to call it here, at least for now. Oh, I see something glowing here. Oh, a bunch of cards are just lying around. That's weird. So we're going to relatively call it here for now. I know that this game is typically around like 33 hours or so if you focus on the main story. I know that. I know we're doing some side mission stuff, but... 
I'm pretty sure that I can't necessarily play a game without doing some side stuff. Unfortunate as it is, that's just how I like to play my games. But with that, I hope you all enjoyed watching. And I relatively want you guys to leave a comment. It allows me to know whether or not you made it this far. Hmm. Uh, how about along the lines of, do you guys want to see some of the side missions? Do you want to see all the side missions? I, for one, don't want to do all the side missions. I think that's like roughly around like 80 hours or 60 hours worth of content. I personally don't think I want to, but I want to hear what you guys want to see. So, you know sure to put those comments down below i'll read all comments trust me i do and i try to answer them as soon as i can but i want to thank you all so very much for watching one last time and i'll see you all in the next recording see ya oh, oh, oh. <laughs>